Welcome everyone to Exploring with Cindy and Dan. Today we are in the Mexican Riviera on our beautiful ship Discovery Princess. Our trip started in the port of Los Angeles, San Pedro Bay in California on October 29th, 2022. And our port of calls on this trip are Cabo San Lucas, Mazatlan, and Puerto Vallarta. We will return back to California on November 5th, so come and join us on this exciting trip. The Port of Los Angeles is located in the San Pedro Bay in California and occupies 7,500 acres of land and water with 43 miles of waterfront. Just on the south side of the World Cruise Center, where our Discovery Princess ship was docked, you can find the battleship USS Iowa. The USS Iowa is a retired battleship, the lead ship of its class, and the fourth of the U.S. Navy to be named after the state of Iowa. It served in the Atlantic Ocean during World War II, and it's a beautiful sight to see. This is Los Angeles Gate Lighthouse, officially known as Los Angeles Harbor Light, and this marked the entrance of the Los Angeles Harbor through time of war and peace. This tower itself has undergone many changes through the years. The distinctive emerald flash of the lighthouse remains a welcoming beacon for boaters and professional mariners. Cabo San Lucas is a resort city at the southern tip of the Baja California Peninsula in the Mexican state of Baja California. Cabo San Lucas has seen an average of 25 to 35 cruise ships each month during 2022. Each ship brings up to 4,000 passengers. Mazatlan is another Mexican Riviera resort town along the Pacific shoreline in Mexico. Mazatlan is known for its beautiful beaches and warm and sunny weather. The city was founded in 1532 by an army of Spaniards and natives. And over time, Mazatlan developed into a commercial seaport. You can safely stroll to Old Mazatlan from the cruise terminal because authorities in Mazatlan painted a blue line on the street so foreigners and tourists can walk safely if they do not want to place themselves in danger. We followed the blue line and approximately every two blocks you could see a police officer until we arrived in downtown Mazatlan and we felt safe the whole entire time we were there. I noticed as we got closer to Mazatlan the, the ocean turned more blue and seemed to get a lot warmer and I saw much sea life along the ship as we'd walk around the outside of the ship I saw many turtles I saw sea lions and uh, we saw some whales and just a lot of different sea life so if you travel down that way always be on the lookout for sea life in the ocean Puerto Vallarta was our last port of call in the Jalisco state Puerto Vallarta was a thriving Mexican village long before it became an international tourist destination and when we arrived in Puerto Vallarta, we noticed there was a huge Walmart across the street from where the ship was docked. And of course, we had to check it out. So as soon as we disembarked, we were welcomed by street vendors at the end of the row. And the shuttles were waiting for the passengers. And it was just, just a beautiful city to tour and just to walk around in. And the temperatures were very nice. Our Princess cruise ship was Discovery Princess, the cruise line's newest ship, and it's the final royal class ship of its fleet. It held about 3,660 guests and 1,346 crew members. 
We had a beautiful balcony on the starboard side of the ship and we would definitely go cruising on this ship again. Please consider subscribing to our channel with the notification bell on and we really appreciate your time to watch our videos. Thank you.